Thomas Hobbes' State of Nature, Unveiling the Foundations of Political Philosophy Thomas Hobbes, a prominent 17th-century philosopher, delved into the hypothetical concept of the state of nature, a foundational concept in political philosophy. Hobbes' exploration of the state of nature offers insights into human nature, the origins of society, and the necessity of government. Through his thought experiment, he invites us to consider the implications of a world without social order and the motivations that drive humans to create organized societies. Understanding the State of Nature Hobbes' State of Nature is a theoretical construct that envisions a pre-social and pre-political condition in which individuals exist without any established government, laws, or societal structures. It serves as a foundational premise upon which he builds his theory of social contract and the necessity of governance. Key Aspects of Hobbes' State of Nature Human Nature and Conflict Hobbes famously described the state of nature as a condition of perpetual war and conflict. In this scenario, individuals are motivated by self-preservation and seek to acquire resources to secure their own survival. The Natural Right to Self-Preservation Hobbes argued that every individual possesses a natural right to self-preservation, and in the state of nature, they are free to pursue their own interests, without any restraints. Anarchy and insecurity. According to Hobbes, the absence of a central authority in the state of nature leads to insecurity, as there are no universally recognized laws to mediate disputes or protect individuals' rights. The need for social contract. Hobbes concluded that individuals, recognizing the inherent dangers of the state of nature, would voluntarily enter into a social contract to establish a government. The government's primary function is to maintain order and prevent the chaos of the state of nature. The Leviathan Hobbes introduced the concept of the Leviathan, a metaphorical representation of the powerful and centralized sovereign authority that arises from the social contract. The Leviathan's authority is absolute and unchallenged, necessary to prevent the return to the state of nature. Implications and Interpretations The Role of Government Hobbes' theory justifies the need for a strong and centralized government that can effectively maintain order and prevent the inherent conflict of the state of nature. Limitations on Individual Freedom Hobbes' perspective implies that individuals would willingly surrender some of their natural liberties in exchange for the security and stability provided by the government. Critique and Debates Hobbes' portrayal of human nature as inherently self-interested and driven by fear has sparked debates about the extent to which these characteristics define human behavior. Contributions to Political Thought Hobbes' exploration of the state of nature laid the groundwork for the social contract theory, influencing subsequent political philosophers and the development of modern governance structures. In conclusion, Thomas Hobbes' concept of the state of nature offers a thought-provoking glimpse into the foundational motivations and conditions that underlie the formation of human societies. His assertion that the state of nature would be characterized by chaos and conflict forms the basis for his argument in favor of a powerful sovereign authority. While his interpretation of human nature and the role of government has been subject to critique and reinterpretation, Hobbes' exploration remains a cornerstone in political philosophy, stimulating ongoing discussions about the balance between individual freedom and collective security in the context of societal organization.